Please welcome Amber Rose from South Philadelphia. Hello. My name is Amber Rose, the bald head stripper from Philly. Um, I was a gold digger. I was apparently he had to take 30 showers after being with me. Do their research. I watched all the rallies and I started meeting so many of you, his red hat wearing supporters. And that's when it hit me. These are my people. This is where I belong. Big go booty messes from Texas. What's this? So here we go again back with another one welcome back to the dark times channel and before i get started make sure you guys go ahead and hit that like button for me and if you're not new to the channel and you've been enjoying the content so far on this channel make sure you guys go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me as well and so let's go ahead and dive right in as everybody knows we had the republican convention last night and they brought out amber rose I knew who supported donald trump was my father i was shocked my entire family is racially diverse and I believe the left-wing propaganda that Donald Trump was a racist. My father said, no, he's not, Amber. What are you talking about? And before I go any further, just to reiterate on his channel, I don't have any political leanings. I don't have any political ties. So it makes no difference to me how a person chooses to vote. And so like most so-called black Americans, I don't think anybody's losing sleep over Amber Rose going team MAGA and speaking at the Republican convention. I don't think anybody cares because Amber Rose has always been a culture vulture and a straight up attention seeker. And I remember a while back, Tariq Nasheed did a broadcast and he was chiming in on Amber Rose. She has gone out of her way to say that she wasn't black. She brings degenerate things within our culture. She's a vulture of our culture. She brings nothing constructive to our society. She was a come up from being one of Kanye's little breezies. She's been eating off black society forever. So I don't really like her chiming in on nothing we do. You know, we if we got black business, that's black business. Well, I, I don't want no outsider hopping in trying to exploit the situation. She hopped in the situation talking about, oh God, this culture, oh, this culture and you know, because she, she's clicked in with the white feminists. They do all the slut walk stuff where they sit up here and she get with the white feminists and then they prop up black men as predatory. You know, she gets around these white feminists and she gets a couple of dollars out of them talking about how abusive black men are. Don't, uh, don't come around our culture and then get with the dominant white society who you wish to be really in line with to get a further bag by demonizing us. So she jumped in on the Sukihana thing, talking, oh, I felt so bad. I saw the Sukihana video and oh, I cried watching it. Uh, stop, stop. Now, now that's performative. Now she's being real extra. And so shout out to Tariq Nasheed. But just like Tariq put it, she's performative. And so she's somebody that allows herself to be used and in return, she uses people. And so she's a leech. She's a performative leech. And this is something that the so-called black community knows. And so we can't be upset at Amber Rose for doing something that she's always done, which is performing, being performative to secure the bag. A hoe's gonna do what a hoe's got to do. And that's no disrespect because we're talking about an individual that's a self-proclaimed slut. And so it is what it is. And so you can't be upset at something that you already know. But what people should be upset by is people within the media playing up Amber Rose and acting as if she's some kind of effective speaker that people within the so-called black community are actually going to listen to. But then a social media influencer with 23 million followers who young people are looking at and young voters are up for grabs this election. Throw in there also, Donald Trump is now a meme everywhere. You know, best not miss if you're going to shoot the king. Like, this is what is on TikTok. This is what tens of millions of young voters who are not necessarily decided, they don't have longstanding party affiliation, are seeing. He's making a play there. It, it's, it's very smart. And to be honest, she's one of the most effective communicators we've seen tonight. This person is super talented. Mm -hmm. Okay, like, this person knows how to speak plainly and directly, knows how to use the camera. Uh, the cadence of it, she, they got something there. They got something. <laughs> the only thing they got is about five different venereal diseases. Amber Rose is outdated. 
No so-called black people are following and listening to an Amber Rose. They would have been better off giving the bag to a Sexy Red or a Suki Hana. And they kept talking about how many followers Amber Rose has. I believe she has over 20 million followers and they kept making that a thing. But the majority of Amber Rose's followers, if they're not bots, allegedly, the majority of them are dudes looking to look at a big ass. That's the majority of them, if we're being honest. Nobody's following Amber Rose to see what she has to say on geopolitics or anything for that matter. Nobody could give a damn about what comes out of her mouth. She's a talentless has been, a washed up has been. That's all she is. And shout out to this sister on CNN for speaking the truth. The Republican Party is doing this, making this effort to court black voters. And I think that Amber Rose was an attempt and it was a failed attempt. Amber Rose is not what the, where the culture is. It's not the person that black voters are gonna take their political cues for. And it just was weird, quite honestly. And so when you, when you talk in the group chats, when you're on Twitter, when you're just having conversations, people are like, what did she say? Like, these are my people. And we're like, okay, go ahead. And so shout out to this sister, because that's exactly how we felt. It wasn't a surprise when you chose up and said, these are your people. It wasn't no gotcha moment. This is something that we already knew. The majority of us already knew at least. And Amber Rose as somebody that's gone from black to white to biracial and now she's just racially ambiguous. Nobody knows what she is. She's white when it's convenient and she's black when it's convenient. And so right now she's a white Republican because it's convenient. And so it is what it is. And no surprise and no shock. But like I said, the only thing that we should be upset by is people actually believing that this is gonna work. People are actually gonna get out and vote because Amber Rose is on stage talking about she's Team MAGA. And that's the only thing we should be upset by because Amber Rose has never been black because she's never tried to uplift the community. The only thing she's done is bring a level of confusion to the community with her slut walks and feminism. But I think that's gonna be a wrap on this one. I wanna get y'all's thoughts on it. Let me know how y'all feel about it in the comment section. And go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're not new to the channel, make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe as well. And as usual, peace chaos.